abrasive water jet machining. Learning Objectives At the end of this topic, you will be able to Describe the working principle of abrasive jet machining, water jet machining, abrasive water jet machining processes. Illustrate these different equipments. Explain the mechanics of material removal. Define the material removal rate MRR process parameters. List the applications and limitations of ultrasonic machining processes. Outcomes by the end of this topic, you will be able to understand the working principle of abrasive jet machining, water jet machining, abrasive water jet machining processes. Understand the mechanics of material removal. Explain the material removal rate, MRR, process parameters. Discuss the applications and limitations of ultrasonic machining processes. 1. Abrasive jet machining Water jet machining. Abrasive water jet machining. Abrasive jet machining. In abrasive jet machining, abrasive particles are made to impinge on the work material at a high velocity. The jet of abrasive particles is carried by carrier gas or air. The high velocity stream of abrasive is generated by converting the pressure energy of the carrier gas or air to its kinetic energy and hence high velocity jet. The nozzle directs the abrasive jet in a controlled manner onto the work material so that the distance between the nozzle and the workpiece and the impingement angle can be set desirably. The high velocity abrasive particles remove the material by micro cutting action as well as brittle fracture of the work material. Figure schematically shows the material removal process. Abrasive jet machining setup. In the elements of an AJM systems, we are going to see about gas propulsion system. Abrasive feeder firstly. Gas propulsion system. The gas propulsion system supplies clean and dry gas to propel the abrasive particles. The gas may be supplied either by a compressor or a cylinder. In case of a compressor, Air filter cum dryer should be used to avoid water or oil contamination of the abrasive powder. The gas should be non-toxic, cheap and easily available. It should not excessively spread when discharged from nozzle into atmosphere. Abrasive feeder Required quantity of abrasive particles is applied by abrasive feeder. In this particular setup, abrasive quantity is controlled by inducing vibration to the feeder. The particles are propelled by carrier gas to a mixing chamber. The air abrasive mixture moves further to the nozzle. 
the nozzle imparts high velocity to the mixture which is directed at the workpiece surface. Material removal occurs due to the erosive action of the jet of air abrasive mixture impinging on the workpiece surface. The next two components of an AJM system are machining chamber, AJM nozzle. Machining chamber. The machining chamber is well closed so that the concentration of the abrasive particles around the working chamber do not reach to the harmful limit. Machining chamber is equipped with vacuum dust collector. Special consideration should be given to the dust collection system if the toxic materials are being machined. AJM nozzle. The AJM nozzle is usually made of tungsten carbide or sapphire, usual life equal to 300 hours, which is high resistance to wear. The nozzle is made of either circular or rectangular cross-section. It is so designed that a loss of pressure due to bends, friction, etc. is minimum possible. The nozzle pressure is generally maintained between 2 to 8.5 kg force per square centimetre. Its value depends upon the material or workpiece and desired characteristics of the machine surface. The streak cutting can be controlled by the use of masks made of soft materials like rubber or metals. Mask covers only that part of the job where machining is not desirable. The final constructional block of an AJM system is Abrasives Abrasives Aluminium oxide, silicon carbide, glass beads, crushed glass and sodium bicarbonate are some of the abrasives used in AGM. Selection of abrasive depends upon the type of work material, material removal rate and machining accuracy desired. Aluminium oxide is good for cleaning, cutting and deepering, while silicon carbide is also used for the similar applications but for harder work materials. For obtaining a matte finish, glass beads are good while crushed glass performs better for giving sharper edges. However, cleaning Deburring and cutting of soft materials are better performed by sodium bicarbonate. The sizes of abrasive particles available in the market range from 10 to 50 micrometers. Small abrasive particles are used for cleaning and polishing, while large particles perform better with an increase in the wear of a nozzle. The divergence of the jet stream increases, resulting in more straight cutting and high inaccuracy. During cutting, fine grains are less irregular in shape, hence their cutting ability is poor. The abrasives should have sharp and irregular shape and be fine enough to remain suspended in the carrier gas. Reuse of the abrasives is not recommended because of the two reasons. Firstly, abrasives get contaminated with metallic chips, which may block the nozzle passage. Secondly, cutting ability of the used abrasive particles goes down. Further, cost of the abrasives is also low. Modeling of material removal. Material removal in AJM takes place due to brittle fracture of the work material due to the impact of high velocity abrasive particles. Modeling has been done with the following assumptions. 1. Abrasives are spherical in shape and rigid. The particles are characterized by the mean grit diameter. 2. The kinetic energy of the abrasives are fully utilized in removing material. 3. Brittle materials are considered to fail due to brittle fracture and the fracture volume is considered to be hemispherical with diameter equal to coral length of the indentation. 4. For ductile material, Removal volume is assumed to be equal to the indentation volume due to particulate impact.
For ductile material, volume of material removal in single impact is equal to the volume of the inundation and is expressed as Kinetic energy of a single abrasive particle is given by where V, velocity of the abrasive particle Mg, mass of a single abrasive grit Dg, diameter of the grit Pg, density of the grit On impact, the work material would be subjected to a maximum force F, which would lead to an indentation of delta lowercase. Thus, the work done during such indentation is given by Now considering H as a hardness or the flow strength of the work material, the impact force can be expressed as Now as it is assumed that the kinetic energy of the abrasive is fully used for material removal, then the work done is equated to the energy. MRR Process Parameters Important parameters that affect the material removal rate during AJM are 1. Standoff distance 2. Type and size of abrasive particles 3. Flow rate of abrasive gas pressure 4. Work material and feed rate 8. Standoff distance Effect of a change in standoff distance on volumetric material removal rate as well as linear material removal rate is shown in the figure. Cross sections of the actually machined profiles in the figure show how the shape of the machined cavity changes with a change in SOD. In a range of SOD which usually vary in a range of SOD which usually varies from 0.75 to 1.0 mm, the MRR is maximum. A decrease in SOD improves accuracy, decreases curve width, and reduces taper in the machined groove. However, light operations like cleaning, frosting, etc. are conducted with a large SOT, say 12.5 to 75 mm. Abrasive flow rate MRRG milligram per minutes increases only up to a certain value of abrasive flow rate beyond which it starts decreasing. Figure As abrasive flow rate increases, the number of abrasive particles cutting the workpiece also increases, thereby increasing MRRG. However, with a further increase in abrasive flow rate, other parameters remaining unchanged, the abrasive flow velocity goes down. This decrease in abrasive flow velocity causes a reduction in MRR G. Nozzle pressure. Effect of nozzle pressure on MRR V is shown in the figure. Kinetic energy of the abrasive particles is responsible for removal of material by erosion process. Abrasives must impinge on the work surface with a certain minimum velocity so that the erosion can take place. This minimum velocity for machining glass by SIC particles is found to be around 150 meters per second. Mixing ratio. Mixing ratio M also influences MRR V dash. An increase in the value of M increases MRR V, but a large value of M may decrease jet velocity and sometimes may block the nozzle. Thus, an optimum value of mixing ratio has been observed that gives maximum MRR V dash. Figure shows the effect of SOD on MRR V for various values of mixing ratios. In place of M, the mass ratio may be easier to determine, where MA is the abrasive mass flow rate, and MA plus C is abrasive and carrier gas combined mass flow. The process parameters can be summarized as The process capabilities of AJMR 
Although AGM gives low MRR V, it can easily produce intricate details in hard and brittle materials. Production of narrow slots 0.12 to 0.25 mm, low tolerance plus or minus 0.12 mm, good surface finish and sharp radius 0.2 mm on machined edge are some of the characteristics of the HAM process. Steels up to 1.5 mm thick and glass up to 6.3 mm thick have been possible to cut by HAM but at very low MRR and a large taper. The process has a special application for machining thin sectioned brittle materials particularly in the areas which are inaccessible for conventional machining methods. Since the heat generation is very low, the resulting surface damage is also insignificant. AGM is useful in the manufacture of deburring of plastics, making of nylon and teflon parts, marking on electronic products, permanent marking on rubber stencils, deflating small castings, cutting titanium foil, and drilling glass wafers. It is also used for engraving registration numbers and on the toughened glass used for car windows. This process is also used for frosting glass surfaces and cutting thin sectioned fragile components. Advantages of AGM AGM process is suitable for cutting all materials. Even diamond can be machined by using diamond as abrasive. There is no heat generation during this process. So, thermal damage to the workpiece is avoided. Very thin and brittle materials can be cut without any risk of breaking. There's no direct contact between the tool and the workpiece. Low initial investment. Good surface finish. It can be used to cut intricate whole shapes in hard and brittle materials. Limitations of HAM MRR is rather low. Abrasive particles tend to get embedded particularly if the work material is ductile. Tapering occurs due to flaring of the jet. Environmental load is rather high. Soft material cannot be machined. Machining accuracy is poor. Nozzle wear rate is higher. The abrasive powder used in this process cannot be reused. There is always a danger of abrasive particles getting embedded in the workpiece. So, cleaning is essential after the operation. Water Jet Machining Firstly, let us see what is a water jet machining process. This process works on the principle of erosion effects of a high velocity, small diameter jet of water. Quality of the machined edge obtained during this process is usually superior to the other conventional cutting processes. This process is good for cutting and slitting of porous nonmetals like wood, leather, 
foam, etc. It is also used for cutting composites via stripping and deburring. In water jet machining, WJM, water jet is a cutting tool which never dulls or breaks. This process does not generate airborne dust, hence hazards during machining of fiber composites and asbestos are minimum. The jet velocity may be as high as 900 meters per second. Basic cutting action is performed by tight water jet core. Interaction with air diverges the shroud around the core. The pumping unit is driven by an electric motor. The oil drawn from a reservoir is pumped to an intensifier which uses low pressure oil to produce very high pressure water. The intensifier that acts as a high pressure pump accumulator to minimize pulsation and water flow a high pressure accumulator that is a pressure vessel to store high pressure water to give smooth outflow is used. High pressure water is transported to nozzle through the rigid high pressure tubing and rigid connectors not shown in the figure. Or for on control valve of water flow can be operated manually or electronically. Nozzles Proper design of nozzles has made it possible to discontinue the use of long chain polymers to lower down friction and fluid flow. Internal diameter of nozzle usually ranges from 0.07 to 0.50 millimeters. These nozzles are made of synthetic sapphire, which is very resistant but easily machinable. Presence of foreign particles in water results in failure of nozzle by chipping. Sometimes, constriction of nozzle by mineral deposits also results in nozzle failure. Life of a sapphire nozzle is usually 250 to 500 hours. Water jet outside the nozzle travels at a very high speed, usually more than sound velocity. To minimize the exposed length of the jet from safety point of view and also to minimize the process noise, a catcher a slot type or tube type is used. This water jet machining process is used for cutting. Fiberglass and polyethylene automotive parts. This process minimizes airborne dust, hence used in cutting of asbestos. Carbide grit safety box. High speed cutting of corrugated box. WJM is used for paint removing. WJM performs in nuclear plant dismantling. This process is very convenient for cutting relatively soft and non-metallic material like paper boats, plastic, wood, rubber, leather, fiberglass, etc. Advantages of WJM In WJM process, water is used as energy transfer medium. It is cheap, non-toxic and easy to dispose. Low operation cost, low maintenance cost. The work area remains clean and dust-free. Very less amount of heat is generated during cutting operation. So there is no thermal damage to the work. Easily automated. Limitations of WJM Initial cost of this process is high. It is difficult to machine hard material. Noise operation. Abrasive water jet machining. Firstly, let us see what is abrasive water jet machining process. In this, the process is similar to abrasive jet machining, except that in this case, water is used as a carrier fluid in place of gas. These processes offer advantage of cutting electrically 
non-conductive as well as difficult to machine materials comparatively more rapidly and efficiently than other processes. Other advantages claimed for this process may be listed as practically no dust, high cutting speed, multi-directional cutting capacity, no fire hazards, no thermal or deformation stresses, high quality of machined edge, easy adaptation for remote control, recycling of abrasive particles, low power requirements, almost no delamination and reduced striations. A water jet and a stream of abrasives coming from two different directions mix up and pass through the abrasive jet nozzle. Here a part of the momentum of water jet is transferred to the abrasives. As a result, velocity of the abrasives rises rapidly. Thus, a high-velocity stream of mixture of abrasives and water impinges on the workpiece and removes material. Depending upon the type of the material being cut, material removal may occur due to erosion, shear or failure under rapidly changing localized stress fields. In abrasive water jet cutting, AWJC, an erosive action of an abrasive laden water jet is employed for cutting, drilling and cleaning of hard materials. The pressure at which water jet operates is about 400 megapascal, which is sufficient to produce a jet speed as high as about 900 meter per second. What abrasive mixture jet exiting from the nozzle at such a high velocity is fully capable to cut ceramics, composites, rocks, metals, etc. Removal of material from uppermost position of a kerf is governed by erosive action, while that at depth it is governed by deformation wear. Abrasive Water Jet Machining AWJM Setup is made up of four important elements, namely pumping system, abrasive feed system, abrasive jet nozzle, and catcher, pumping system. It produces a high-velocity water jet by pressurizing water to as high as 415 megapascal by means of an intensifier. To acquire such a high pressure, 75 HP motor may be required. Water flow requirements up to 3 gallons per minute are quite common. Abrasive feed system. It must deliver a controlled flow of abrasive particles to the jet nozzle. Present abrasive feed system delivers a stream of dry abrasives to the nozzle. Flow rate of abrasives can be controlled by changing the diameter of the control orifice. Highly pressurized water is passed through a nozzle of diameter ranging from 0.075 to 0.635 mm to obtain the desired velocity of a jet of abrasive water mixture. Abrasive Water Jet Nozzle It performs two functions. 1. Mixing of abrasive jet and water and 2. To form a high-velocity water abrasive jet. It should give a coherent and focused abrasive stream at exit from the nozzle which is made of sapphire, tungsten carbide or boron carbide. Two kinds of nozzle arrangements used here, namely single jet side feed nozzle and multiple jet central feed nozzle. The multiple jet central feed nozzle consists of a centrally located abrasive feed system surrounded by multiple water jets which are disposed such as a converging annulus of water is produced. It gives higher nozzle life and better mixing of abrasives into the water jet. However, it is difficult and costly to fabricate such nozzles because of the angle of convergence. Catcher Another element of the system is a catcher, which is used when the nozzle remains stationary and the workpiece moves. Catcher is a long, narrow tube placed under the point of cut to capture the used jet. In case when the workpiece remains stationary and the nozzle moves, a water-filled settling tank 
is placed directly underneath the workpiece. The used jet dies out in this tank. Types of catcher Once the abrasive jet has been used for machining, they may have sufficiently high level of energy depending on the type of application. Such high energy abrasive water jet needs to be contained before they can damage any part of the machine or operators. Catcher is used to absorb the residual energy of the AWJ and dissipate the same. Figure shows three different types of catcher water basin type, submerged steel balls, and TIB square plate type. Moreover, the catcher can be of pocket type or line type. In pocket type, the catcher basin travels along the jet. In line type, the catcher basin only travels along one axis of the CNC table and its length covers the width of the other axis of the CNC table. Types of AWGM In entrained AWGM, the abrasive water jet, which finally comes from the focusing tube or nozzle, can be used to machine different materials. In suspension AWGM, the abrasive water jet is formed quite differently. There are three different types of suspension, AWJ, formed by direct, indirect and bypass pumping method as already given in the below figure. It shows the working principle of indirect and bypass pumping system of suspension AWJM system. In suspension AWJM, Preformed mixture of water and abrasive particles is pumped to a sufficiently high pressure and stored in pressure vessel. Then the pre-mixed high pressure water and abrasive is allowed to discharge from a nozzle to form abrasive water jet. AWJM Curve Curve is a machining term that refers to the material removed during cutting. Part of the material is removed during cutting. The amount of material removed is based on the cutting medium. The following figures show the cut generated by an AWJM in different sections. It is called a curve. Parameters which affect the performance of a AWJM process are water, flow rate and pressure, abrasives, type, size and flow rate, water nozzle and abrasive jet nozzle, design, cutting parameters, feed rate and standoff distance, and workpiece material. Other cutting parameters can be listed as mixing tube diameter and its length, angle of cutting, and traverse speed. Number of passes is also identified as one of the important variables that affects cutting performance during a AWJC. Water jet pressure A minimum pressure below which no machining would take place. This critical pressure exists because a minimum abrasive particle velocity is required to cut a particular material. PC is different for different workpiece materials. The machine depth tends to stabilize beyond a certain value of water jet pressure. The machined depth versus pressure relationship becomes steeper as the abrasive flow rate increases. An increase in pressure also increases rate of nozzle wear and cost of pump maintenance and lowers volumetric efficiency. Water flow rate AWJM Water is used as a propelling fluid which enables high abrasive flow rates 0.1 to 5 kg per minute to be achieved and makes it possible to accelerate abrasives to high velocities. AWGs are more suitable for cutting as compared to gas abrasive jets because earlier ones are more coherent. Water flow rate is proportional to square root of pressure and square of diameter of the so, abrasive flow rate. Machine depth is proportional to the abrasive flow rate, meter, and square of particle velocity. However, 
an increase in appraisal flow rate beyond the critical value would reduce machined depth. Increase in abrasive flow rate enhances wear rate of mixing nozzles and reduces mixing efficiency inside a WJ nozzle. Relationships between abrasive flow rate and depth of cut for various work materials and for various nozzle diameters are shown. Abrasive particle size Commonly used abrasive particle size ranges from 100 to 150 grit. There is an optimum particle size for a particular workpiece material and also for a particular nozzle mixing chamber configuration. An optimum particle size range exists for cutting different types of materials. Mesh size 60 is more effective for relatively shallow depth of cut obtained with two passes during machining of stainless steel. Approximate diameter and millimeter of abrasive grit of mesh size S can be obtained from the following equation. Use different abrasive sizes with different number of passes to maximize the effect of abrasive Abrasive material. Garnet, silica, and silicon carbide are commonly used abrasives in AWJC. Type of abrasive to be used is determined after knowing the hardness of the workpiece material. Higher the hardness of the workpiece material, harder should be the abrasives used. Complete recycling of the abrasives is not possible. Machine depth is also affected by the type of the abrasives used. While selecting a type of abrasive for a particular application, one traverse speed. A decrease in traverse rate increases the depth of cut. If it goes below a minimum critical traverse cut, there would be hardly any increase in the depth of cut. Figure shows an optimum traverse cut that exists for generation of a maximum curve area. However, in case of mild steel, the rate of curve, slot, Area generation decreases with an increase in traverse speed beyond the optimum value. Overcut decreases with number of passes. Multiple passes can be employed in the following two different ways. 1. A single water jet with multiple passes and 2. Multiple tandem AWJs with a single traverse. In case of a single water jet, hold power and quantity of abrasives are used by a single jet, while in second case, both the available power and the abrasives are divided among multiple jets. The distribution of power and abrasives among them are considerations for overall optimization. Multiple pass cutting requires special catching and containment precautions because the initial pass cutting results in jet backflow and rebounding. Standoff distance. An increase in standoff distance rapidly decreases machined depth. The liquid face of the jet breaks up into droplets, resulting in free abrasive particles. These free abrasive particles rebound upon impact that leads to a shallower penetration. There is an upper value of SOD beyond which the mixing ratio of AWJM. AWJM accelerates a jet of water 70% and abrasive 30% from 4.2 bar up to a velocity of 30 meter per second. Silicon carbides, sand, corundum and glass beads of grain size 10 to 150 micrometer are often used as abrasive materials. Using such a method, burrs of 0.35 millimeter height and 0.02 millimeter width left in steel component after grinding are removed by the erosive effect the process performance characteristics given as the general domain of parameters in entrained type AWJ machining system is given below orifice sapphires 0 0.1 to 0 0.3 millimeter focusing tube WC 0 0.8 to 2.4 millimeter pressure 2500 to 4000 bar abrasive garnet and olivine number 
125 to number 60. Abrasive flow 0.1 to 1.0 kilogram per minute. Standoff distance 1 to 2 millimeter. Machine impact angle. Advantages of AWJM In cases where the excessive heat generated can cause changes in the material properties, AWJM is very useful process for hard metals like cutting tool steels. The water jet cutting process does not produce any dust or such particles which are harmful if inhaled like in the case of machining and grinding operations. No further secondary or finishing operations are required in most cases. In AWJM process, the cutting forces generated on workpieces are typically low. The tooling requirements are limited. Typical surface finish achieved is in the range of 125 to 250 microns. The material wastages are reduced due to smaller curve sizes. There is no heat affected zone. There is no cutter induced metallic contact. The abrasive water jet machining process have the following limitations. For longer life of the nozzle, it should be made of sapphire. In a single jet side feed nozzle, it's less expensive, simple to make, but does not provide an optimal mixing efficiency and experiences a rapid wear at the exit part of the nozzle. The multiple jet central feed nozzles are difficult and costly to fabricate such nozzles because of the angle of convergence increase in water flow rate beyond a certain value may result in insignificant gain in particle loss the applications of abrasive water jet machining are used to machine the sandwiched honeycomb structural materials currently used in the aerospace industries slotting is one of the common applications of awjc The applications which are generally machined using AWJM are given below. Paint removal, cleaning, cutting soft materials, cutting frozen meat, textile leather industry, mass immunization, surgery, peening, cutting, packet milling, drilling, turning, nuclear plant dismantling. Summary. Let's summarize. abrasive jet machining water jet machining abrasive water jet machining process equipments basic working principle material removal rate mrr process parameters applications and limitations